wondering what is the deal with the chickens running around Key West. Like there or something. I gotta think that I remember that. I remember it kind of dawning on me. Oh my god, there are chickens running around Key West. Oh, if there anybody had any doubt that that's the case, that's the case let me assure you that is the case. Now, how that happened? Well, 150 years ago, we were inviting the Cubans to our island. We had plenty of work, and they bring in with them a rather odd tradition. The tradition of cockfighting. Now, this is a nasty little tradition. This is two roosters that are put into a pen, agitated to a degree, and now they're fighting for their life. This is a one person comes out, or one person, one chicken, or turkey, or turkey, let's try again. One rooster comes out alive, and one does not. And they're trying to uh, get each other's eyes out, so they blind them, and then they do the coup de grace. So particularly nasty little tradition. Cubans think this is awesome. They're betting on the outcome. And they're raising their fighting and allowing the roosters to be the prize fighting rooster. I don't know how you do that. Maybe you got them to do push-ups or something. But as it turns out, we tolerated for a considerable time and then our, our notions of what this was and completely changed. It took a while. But eventually, a law is passed. There is absolutely no cockfighting in Florida. And you know what? The Cubans did not take this well. They're messing with their traditions. In protest, they released every single chicken they had in every single coop all at once and living with chickens on our island ever since. That's how it happened. Got bad with neighbors, eat little bugs, chase each other around, raise their chicks here right on the street, and are good neighbors as long as they're not under my window at 6 in the morning. So, find your chickens in Key West. They're all right. On your right, you can see the White House poking up behind the trees. You can claim that. And on your left, one of the more beautiful homes, but it has a rather ugly wall surrounding it. And this is the home of Ernest Hemingway. Hemingway lived here from 1931 to 1941 prolific during that 10-year span and interestingly he did not buy the home his wife pauline had a very rich and generous uncle uncle gus uncle gus bought the house for them for eight